People of God, I celebrate you very, very seriously. This is the very son of the great gospel general, Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman. Doing conspiracies, subduing conspiracies, subduing conspiracies. From the story that we read about this woman, we all know the story. The woman that was caught in the act of adultery, there was they brought her before Jesus, and they came and they made all kinds of allegations, and they expected Jesus to respond, and we saw all that transpired. Now, from this story, we understand that no wicked man walks in isolation. No wicked man walks in isolation. Never underestimate the power and effect of stupid people in large numbers. When, listen to me, if you think anything is too small to cause you discomfort, spend the night with mosquitoes. This tells us that there is no wickedness that works in isolation. Anyone you see who comes and puts up a front and confronts you has got a backup. And that is why it is ironical. It is, it is suicidal as it were for you to live life without a backup. This woman was brought before Jesus. And we began to paint all the scenario around what happened to her. And they told Jesus, what this woman has done, this woman has committed an offense, and Jesus said nothing about it. Hear me? God does not discuss sin. He forgives it. God does not discuss sin. He forgives it. So it doesn't matter the yoke and the, the, the letting of sin that you have overwhelmed you. You have lived the life of sin and unrighteousness. God says that there is grace available to show you mercy. For if thou shalt confess thy sin, he says he is willing, he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Somebody say, I hear. I can you say, I hear. This woman was caught in the act of adultery. Bishop Laju, she was caught. We are living a generation only those who are caught are guilty. Only those caught are guilty. Everyone claims to be a saint because they have not been caught. Only those caught are guilty. She was caught. They were involved in the act, but she was the one that was caught. They were involved in the same conspiracy to see that she's taken out. She Now, do you know, of course, and I don't have to tell you if you're a preacher, you will know that this whole story was a setup. Someone's vulnerability was exploited just to catch Jesus in an error. Because if he says, kill her, they say you are the Messiah. Don't kill her. Oh, you are the righteous man. You are, you are covering sin. So, her uh, 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 vulnerability was exploited just to catch Jesus in an ungodly or in an uncanny position. And the Bible says, Jesus said, as anyone as anyone she said no my lord but this whole story was the story of a conspiracy hear me and hear this well hear this hear this your haters cannot change God's mind about you because God is not from their village your haters cannot change God's mind about you because God is not from their village. So it doesn't matter the conspiracy and the gang up. It doesn't matter the, 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 the satanic high water against you. God will let me tell you today as we go further that in the name of Jesus, heaven will stand by you. Heaven will stand by you. Destiny that you are to. There is a destiny. Can I say this to you? Listen, listen to me. God finished you before I sent you. You are a finished product. You are a finished product. God finished before he sent you. He knew that this assignment and the mandate on your life is something that can be achieved. Am I communicating here? I mean, if you know that before Adam was formed, Jesus already died. Before Adam came, Jesus already died. God sees the end from the beginning. How oh, I oh, which I'm talking to somebody. How many of you have your handset with you? Let me see your handset. You have your handset. You have a phone. Do you have a phone? 
How many of you bought your phone by yourself? You were not gifted. You bought it yourself. All right. How many of you bought it brand new? Is it true? I mean, you are the first to use your phone yourself. You lied. The company that manufactured your phone used it. They browsed with it. They texted with it. They made the call. When they were done, they wiped it. And they put a warranty. In other words, we tested it. We used it. It works. So there's a warranty. Before they sent it here to the market, they had used it. It was completed. And they decimated it into pack. That is why he said is the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. So before you came here, God saw that you are an accountant. He saw that you are a minister. He saw your ministry he did well before he sent you that is why he said before i found thee in thy mother's womb i knew you and i ordained you how can you be ordained before delivery so you are not a non-entity that can be brushed aside God, God, God was intentional about you. And I speak this by the mandate of God. The intention of God, God's predetermined intention for your predestination. As you say amen, it comes to pass. As you say amen, it comes to pass. If your amen is louder, take the blessing. Take your seat. And then. And they said to Jesus, they said, Moms is said in the law. Apostles are people who were out, people with wickedness seated and rooted in the fabrics of their mind. We are quoting the law of Moses. We live in a generation where people quote scriptures to justify wickedness. People quote scriptures to justify wickedness. People, when you hear some people quoting scriptures, that was why the Bible says in Jeremiah 5 and verse 26, among my people there are wicked men. Among my people, my people, there are people quoting scriptures to just the, you are here to decimate and extinguish someone, and you are quoting the Lord of Moses. It was a conspiracy. Quoting the Lord of Moses. There are people that we can't help because they have a predetermined conclusion for their life. Lay hands on them. You can't help them. Am I, am I talking to somebody here? They have a predetermined by reason of their life. You see, you are, you, are, you, are, you are hired by somebody and God gave you favor before that person. You are working with the person. Listen, focus on your job description. Am I talking to somebody here? Your boss's marriage is not your problem. What the man is doing or saying, how he spoke to his wife on the phone is not your problem. Am I talking to somebody here? This man pays your salary. Even if the man has crisis with his wife, it's not your problem. The death of a lion is not announced by a goat. Am I talking to somebody right now? And this, 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 are, we are in a generation where people recruit haters. People recruit haters. Conspired and ganged up to just to see that some but in the name of Jesus, I am a rich conspiracy of faith. The Bible said this woman stood, this woman stood with Jesus. Every one of them left. Write this down. If you can stand with God, you will be the last man standing. If you can stand with God, you will be the last man standing. If you can stand with God, you will be the last man standing. I heard that you not know that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, is in neither fainted, for there is no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the dead. The young man may fall, and the youth may utterly fail, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not go weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. Nobody shall fire. Somebody shall fire, fire. Somebody shall fire, fire, fire. We are in a wicked generation. We are in a wicked generation. You will be sad. Those who think you trust now, just you see. I told them in um having a singles program, so I was talking to them, and they were saying, Daddy, no, now there are no laid down rules for relationship. Anyone you just see that your heart clicks with, 
and I asked them a question. I said, intimacy is because of chemistry. Just make sure when there is biology, there's economics to handle your geography. <laughs> if intimacy is because of chemistry, just make sure when biology happens, there is economics to handle your geography. You'll be so shocked and you'll be surprised at people's reaction in the day of trouble. In the time when they are needed. Listen to me. Nobody commits adultery alone. It was an agreement. But where was the man? Turn the back. Where was the man? Denied her. Yeah, so she was used as a tool. I decree in the name of Jesus. Everyone who is conscious, everyone who deliberately consciously is set to publicly ridicule you. In the name of Jesus, their intention backfires. Anyone who deliberately consciously is set out to ridicule you. In the name of Jesus, the are uh, uh, agenda backfires. The 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 agenda backfires. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, help me. We are in the season of the Holy Ghost. It takes your work, your intimacy with the Holy Ghost for you to stand out and stand at bay from the assault and the onslaught of the wicked. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, help me. I can you say, Holy Ghost, help me. Say, Holy Ghost, help me. That's why Jesus said, I send and not that comforter and in Acts chapter 1 that comforter came Bishop Lajo we saw the comforter descend and in Acts chapter 2 the Bible says it fell upon them and they spoke in tongues and in Acts chapter 3 they needed to experiment the Holy Ghost that they have received in Acts chapter 3 they saw a man and they ministered to that man because of that miracle in Acts chapter 4 they were arrested and Peter stood his ground and in verse 29 and 30 he said Lord grant your servant boldness that by preaching your word he said that stretch for the holy the hand that, that the name of the holy child be proclaimed signs and wonders be better and in Acts chapter 5 we saw a move of God that fell as judgment on Ananias and Sapphira what was the problem? Ananias and Sapphira gave a land that land was valueless that land was not significant but as soon as they gave God it appreciated as soon as they gave God somebody bought it very expensive so when they sought the prize after it was given to God because nothing is given to God and loses value nothing gives to God and lacks value nothing gives to God and ends infinite testimony and this land was bought Acts chapter 6 the Bible says this is the problem I want you to listen to this the Bible says they saw so much abundance and they said we will not leave the word of God and serve tables still Stephen was recruited because manpower was needed. Stephen was not a deacon. Stephen was an evangelist. But Stephen had a problem because he stepped into a jurisdiction he had no commission over. So he began to minister to the people instead of ministering to tables. And in Acts chapter 7, we saw that Stephen, you know, Stephen you see heavens open. You see Jesus standing at the right. Why was Jesus standing? Because he was on the is to identify but Stephen said into the hands I commit my and everyone saw Stephen drop dead in the church and in Acts chapter 8 Philip said Stephen was killed because he could be seen I would begin to disappear so he would move from Azotus and move to Samaria he began to disappear and reappear and in Acts chapter 9 the Bible says a man called Saul you know a man called Saul sir how was Saul picked how was Saul picked how did the man to fall on Saul the garment of those that killed Stephen was laid at the feet of Paul the man to brought the impartation and the Bible says Saul was picked and in Acts chapter 10 a man waited on God for four days this man by the name of Cornelius and God sent Peter specifically he said go and as he was ministering the Holy Ghost fell and Peter was questioned in Acts chapter 11 and he began to give account of what he saw when he got to the house of Cornelius and the Bible says for the first time they were caught Christian in the city of Antioch and in Acts chapter 12 Herod searched for his hand he said to verse setting of the church and the people prayed and God sent a voice manifesting as an angel and the gate opened up his own accord and in Acts chapter 13 separate me Paul and Barnabas for the work which I've called them to do in Acts chapter 14 they said when they got to Lystra they saw a man that was impotent on his feet 
15. And Paul said, rise up. The man stood up, Acts chapter 15. They began to discuss the circumcision in Acts chapter 16. Sir, they got to a place called Philippi. And they said, the Lord gave them room. In Acts chapter 16, they got to Philippi. Paul was beaten. As God gave a beating to prison. I thank God for what Paul went I thank God for the pains that are because it if Paul was not beaten, he came there full of power. That is why, let me explain to you. Everything you see written in the epistles all happened in Acts. All the experiences of Paul all happened in Acts. He got to Acts chapter 18. Got to Acts chapter 18. And there was a release of uncommon grace. A young man by the name of Apollos. They expanded the word of God to him. The young man only did the baptism of John. And in Acts chapter 19, he got to a city called Ephesus. He got to a city called Ephesus. Where they worshipped a man called a, a God called Diana. And Diana, they would scream and say, great is Diana. Paul saw contest. Paul saw warfare in the city of Ephesus. That is why from that city, when he was writing to the efficient church, he said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. When he was writing to them from there, it was there he said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Am I communicating right now? In Acts chapter 20, a young man called Eutychus, as the word of God was coming up, Eutychus sat on the window. He had the spirit of indecision. The same word that healed others, he became a casualty. Because he was not decisive. Another name meaning for you, Titus, is fortunate. He was very fortunate. He had Paul as his prophet. He was very fortunate. He had Paul as his minister. But he was sitting on the window. He was in the season. And he fell and died. Am I communicating right now? In Acts chapter 21, a man called Agabus. He took a ghetto. He said, the one who owns this ghetto, as I wrap myself, so he shall be bound in Jerusalem. In Acts chapter 22, Paul began to give an accolade and explain the account I saw. He saw God on his way to Damascus in Acts chapter 23. Certain men banded themselves together that they would not eat or drink until they keep Paul. In Acts 24, Paul stood before Governor Felix. In Acts 25, he stood before Governor Festus. In Acts 26, he stood before King Agrippa. In Acts 27, he stood before Justus. In Acts 28, the Bible says, Viper fastened the self around Paul and he shook it into the peace and held no harm. Lift your hands and shout hallelujah. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, help me. Say Holy Ghost help me. Say Holy Ghost help me. Take your seat. Take your seat. Am I communicating right now? She was caught in the act of adultery. She was caught in the act of adultery. Apostle Telina, sir, that was all. Whether she was a good cook, not important. Whether she was humble, not important. One mistake, one error, one error. is too insignificant to write off a whole destiny. Ah. One error, just one. One. Error. one. Whether she had character, not important. We live in a generation where errors are amplified and efforts are simplified. Ah. That's all. So, whether she had character, not important. Whether she was a woman of excellence, not important. Whether she had any virtue, not so long she did this one, write her off. But well, thank God that God does not determine your past. God does not consult your past, rather, to determine your future. I thank God that there is something ahead of you. you say, I know the thoughts. You may not know, but I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give to you. The greatest, the greatest news ever. The greatest news ever is that he died. He was buried. He resurrected for your justification. Is the greatest news of the century. It was on the cross Jesus married the church. On the cross he, he became their husband. On the cross he screamed, Father! Why have thou forsaken me on the cross? And he said to John, Behold thy mother, mother, behold thy son. He disconnected himself from his father and his mother. Because unless a man leaves his father and his mother, he cannot be connected to his bride. He left his father, left his mother, and married the church at the cross. Greater news of all time is that the blood has been shed. The price has been paid. Am I communicating right now? 
I said the price has been paid. Yes, sir. I can't hear you loud. The price has been paid. Yes, sir. I can't hear you loud. The price has been paid. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. The price has so no matter what I tell you, you. You say, Apostle, you don't understand. I lost a contract. I lost business. I lost opportunity. I lost I lost a marriage. I lost a home. I'm sorry to say to you, God lost angels. God lost angels, and he is still God. Apostle, I said, what did Satan tell those angels? They were created at the same time. I'm still thinking, what did he tell them? That they agreed and relocated to hell with him. What did he tell angels like him? <laughs> and they agreed. Conspiracy. You need this assignment, and they be quoting scriptures in their hands. We are in a generation where people have scriptures in their mouth and stones in their hands. We are in a generation where people have scriptures, revelations in their in their mouth, but they have stones. I keep saying to you, if you stand with God, you will be the last man standing. If you are ready to stand and identify with God. I'm the first Christian, first believer in my paternal family. I mean, of many generations. Many generations. First. First. Many generations. I'm the only one that they call to family meeting of grandfathers in their 90s and the rest. And Every discussion stops where I talk. When I finish talking, that's when the meeting ends. If you suggest anything after there, you'll be the one to finance what you said. You bring any suggestion after I've spoken, finance what you said. Am I talking to somebody here? I was shocked. We got to meet one time. I said, let's pray. They remember their car in the name of Jesus. They were quiet. I said, the response should be amen. They said, amen. You talk after them, finance what you said. Stretch your two hands in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I speak generationally. Yes, sir. What no one could achieve, you will achieve it double. Where yeah, no one could enter, you will go beyond that place. What no one could handle, you will handle it double. If your amen is louder, turn the blessing. Be careful. Bitch, this woman must have been deceived. They exploited that vulnerability. Listen, be careful. Salt and sugar appears the same. Be careful. Be careful. And I've said this to every rebel. And you know, sir, there are different kinds of rebels, though. Apostle Okbe, there are humble rebels, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Humble rebels. I'm lawyer, sir. I'm lawyer, sir. Humble rebels. There are prayerful rebels. Prayerful rebels. And there are financial rebels. Because he, he pays the piper, he feels he must dictate the tune. Ah. That's why it's an error for a shepherd, a priest to be stranded. It's an error. A priest to be stranded. It's an error. If this comes out as arrogance, please forgive me. It's not intended. I tell my members to their face, I say, I'm not stranded though. If it comes out as arrogant, it's not intended. If it's arrogant, it's not. But I am not stranded, I tell them. Tight on Sunday, it's your collective tight on this. As if I'm not stranded. Because like, like priests, like people. Not like people, like priests. Like priest. I like what he said in Amos. Amos said, I was not a prophet or a prophet song. All I did was gathering figs. He said, but he picked me. In my father, I was not a prophet song, but grace found me. Grace found me. Grace found me. Found me. This was conspiracy. Completely ridiculous. Do you care? Do you know you are broken? You are breaking the heart of a whole community. Do you care the connection? Do you care how many hearts you are shattering? It's not it. 
conspiracy, but in the name of Jesus. Look at that. How? Jesus, if you study verse 1, he was coming down from the Mount of Olives. As he was coming down, he was confronted. They brought the puzzle on his way down. On his way down. You must get to understand. When, look at this. Let me give you this revelation. When Jesus went up in Matthew 17, Elijah appeared. Moses appeared. And the Bible said they appeared in their elements. When Jesus came down to the foot of the mountain, a man confronted him. He said, I brought my son. The disciples could not cast the spirit out. Jesus said, what happens to him? He said, this devil throws him into the water and throws him to the fire. Sir, who was the custodian of the fire? Elijah. Who was the custodian of the water? Moses. And Jesus was just coming down from encounter with the custodian of the fire and custodian of the water. Coming down from the custodian, they could make him match with the custodian. It was easy for him because he just met with the custodian of the fire and the custodian of the water. These guys could not because they didn't have the encounter on the mountain. To subdue conspiracy, be a man of the mountain. Be a man of the mountain. Be a man of the mountain. Pray. Pray. Be a man of the mountain. Pray. He came down from the mountain so he could handle matters. One of the things you connect when you are mad permanently on the mountain is sensitivity. 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 Sensitivity as a minister to know. <laughs> Sir. I was planning a crusade somewhere. I prayed and prepared. Trying to put it together. I had him tell me clearly. He said, that's not your territory. You are not sent there. I said, thank you. He said, there's somebody there. That's not your territory. Oh, you want to do everything? Here it is. You see that man at the gate of beautiful? Jesus passed him on. Jesus saw him and passed him. It was Peter and John that came and healed him. Jesus saw him and walked past. You are not called to everybody. You are not sent to everybody. Even in this Abuja, there's an extraction committed to you. There's an extraction sent to you. Am I talking to somebody? Listen to me. You must understand something. In life, there are people you must meet and there are some you must miss. Disaster begins where you meet who you are supposed to miss. And this favor starts when you miss who you are supposed to meet. The mountain. I decree in the name of Jesus the baptism it. of prayer, the unction to pray. The more you pray, the more you want to pray. The unction to pray, the more you pray. I just had something now. I just had something now. Wonderful. I had this in the afternoon. The Lord said, I'm going to remind you. He said, there are people here. Huh? He said, by reason of this encounter, in the next two, three days, a mantle for intercession. <laughs> I just heard it again. A mantle for intercession falls upon you speedily. A mantle for intercession falls on you speedily. 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 Be a man of the mountain. Pastor, be a man of the mountain. Thank you, Jesus. Be a man of the mountain. Thank God for power of diction. Thank God for the mastery of public speaking. But sir, there is something more than that. It has to be prayer. It has to be the mountain. Am I speaking to somebody right now? Am I speaking to somebody right now? It has to be a man. You have to constantly. And one of the consciousness you carry when you are a man of the as he came down from the mountain. When the brought the issue, he stooped to write. He stooped to write. Men of the mountain are men who are conscious of what is written. And men who are conscious of what is knowledge. Knowledge. Say knowledge. 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 Say knowledge. Knowledge. Say knowledge. Knowledge. It's in the, it said that is so knowledge. Not good. Proverbs eleven nine. True knowledge shall the just be delivered. Proverbs 8 verse 12. I, he said, I, I wisdom dwell with knowledge. Dwell with knowledge, dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge of witty invention. Every knowledgeable man is an inventor. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4. He said, I wish that all men be saved and 
come to the knowledge after salvation what God expects is knowledge knowledge Romans 1 13 he said I will not have you be ignorant Romans eleven twenty five. 25 I will not have you be ignorant 1 Corinthians 10 verse 1 I will not have you be ignorant 1 Corinthians 12 1 concerning spiritual gifts I will not have you be ignorant 2 Corinthians 1 8 I will not have you be ignorant 2 Corinthians 2 11 let Satan take advantage of us we are not ignorant of his devices we are not in Psalm 73 22 he said I was ignorant I was foolish so I was like a beast before thee so nothing brings a man to the class of animals like ignorance Am I talking to somebody here? Nothing brings a man down to the class of animals. Like ignorant. Ignorant. Jeremiah 4 verse 22 I believe. He said these people are foolish. They have not known me. John 4 22. You know not what you worship. But we know what we worship. Salvation is of the Jews. Give me hunger for what is written. Give me passion for what is written. Give me passion. Have you flown. Sir. Have you flown abroad with a black man? You will hate flying. Ha! I don't change seat tire. Welcome, sir. I see you on TV. Oh my God. This is you, flesh and blood. Well done. Oh, so you are going to London. Where is the plane going to? Oh, you are going to London. <laughs> yes, sir. I see I'm going to London. Oh, so you are flying. I'm seeing you here. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. So you didn't use your plane. If I use my plane, will I be here? Oh, that's good, though. So you're Apostle Suleiman. Uh -uh. I say, I'm the one. Thank you. I open my Bible. Eh? How is the family? I say, fine. So you are married. Uh -uh. <laughs> I say, yes, I'm married. I say, ah, ah. Wow, wow. I said, okay, hey, sir. Hey, me, you see, I come from so so state and I'm, I'm trapped. I'm married. If I'm my daughter, this is her graduation. She's my last daughter. She graduated. I said, that's wonderful. Uh, when it's back to your the own story, bah. talk, talk, talk. One guy was talking, 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 talking. He said, I heard you are an Arsenal fan. I said, yes. He said, me, I'm Chelsea. I said, Chelsea, is that dry gin or what? He was Chelsea. He said, ah, Apostle, that's too harsh. That's too harsh. He talked and talked and talked and talked. <laughs> Dr. Kisney, sorry. <laughs> All the Chelsea fans are angry. <laughs> and he talked and talked. I called the hostess. I said, please come. Please, man. Can I get another seat? He said, what? I said, I'm, I'm suffocating. I'm, I need oxygen. Somebody is killing me here. But you see the white man you travel with. He's in his system. He has his earpiece. Till you land. And we wonder why they are so constructive and productive. The mind. If you have no mind, nobody will mind you. If you have no mind, no same mind, nobody will mind you. Pick it to somebody here. God gave you brain so that you can rest. Look at God's servant, Bishop. But look at what he's achieving cheaply. The mind. Loading his mind. Loading his mind. He said, let his mind. What stood Jesus out? What is mind? His thinking pattern. Every man of the mountain focuses on what is written. There is something written about you. There is something God has written about you. Yes. And he said, what I have written, I have written. Nothing can change what is written. No matter what is happening, there is something written. What is happening cannot swallow up what is written. There is something written about me. Say that to three people. There is something written about me. A man of the mountain, a man of the mountain. There's something written about me. I'm a man of the mountain. Hear me. I'm in a hurry because man of God, can I feel like ouch here? Because I want to take my time tonight to prophesy. Can I feel like ouch here? And, 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 and when I studied that scripture, sir, this guy 
says, came with stones. And Jesus said, he that is without sin, cast the first stone. Drop that stone from the eldest to the youngest. The eldest, is, he has been in this world longer, so his own sins were more. <laughs> from the eldest to the youngest, they drop their stone. So you mean that they were, that was their lifestyle. But they were calling out somebody. Write this down. When conscience dies, everything dies. When conscience dies, you are accusing a woman of what you are equally guilty of. And that's the problem with Nigeria. You are, you are, you are, you are attacking leaders for being self-centered. Yet you are owing your security man five months. We are in a, we are in a, we are in a, 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 a country, a hypocritical nation. Someone said to me, Apostle, why do you only speak on national issues? I said, because I've saw what, I saw what the problem is. The problem of Nigeria is not the leaders. It's the citizens. All you have, the only power you have now is social media. You abuse people. You are Just think of it. They give you the police. They give you the military. The pro, I said this again. The problem of Nigeria is not the leaders. It's the citizens. When conscience dies, everything dies. Acts chapter 24 verse 16. He said that I may have a conscience that is void of offense towards God and towards man. When conscience dies, listen to me. Before you attack people and throw stones at them, you must check your life. You must examine yourself. You are in a generation when people abuse others only because they sin differently. Oh, oh, nobody's following me. We're in a generation where a thief calls another man a liar. Because he doesn't lie. Thank you. We're in a generation where a, a, an adulterer calls somebody else a name. Why? Because he doesn't do what they do. That you see differently doesn't make you a saint. That you see when conscience dies... Mahatma Gandhi, a great leader from India who went to South Africa and studied law and came with a revolutionary mindset. A woman brought the son. He said, Mahatma Gandhi, my son sees you as his hero. But my son has a problem. He will put 12 cubes of sugar in his tea and start chewing it. Talk to him. Anything you tell him to do now, he will do. Let him live. Mahatma Gandhi said, bring him back next month. Ah, please, I'll talk to him now. They, bring him. they brought the boy next month. And Mahatma Gandhi looked at them and said, Stop taking him. You didn't shoot him this last month. But the last month, I was taking it. As a last month, I was a victim of the same thing. So I needed to pull out so that I can stand on the platform to be able to correct others. You see election. Somebody who snatched ballot box is angry that the other party rigged. I have never seen such mad eyes people. And they come on camera. It was rigged. What were you doing? What do you call what you were doing? <laughs> you are a rigist, right? <laughs> we are in a generation. Yeah, yeah. You see, there are people when they start talking. You see, people judge others by their own standards. Yeah, when you hear people talk, it's a definition of who they are. One day, a pastor was preaching. He said, how can somebody be stealing? You call somebody a pastor, you are stealing. I turned to my wife, I said, this guy is a thief. I said, he's a thief. Because I've listened to four of his message. Everything is on stealing. He's preaching himself. <laughs> yes, preaching himself. He's a victim of this thing he's hearing about. Am I talking to somebody right now? Conscience is gone. I decree on you today. Hello, Listen to me. God, conscience is the police dog of the soul. I decree on you today that your conscience come alive. Come alive. Come alive. In your office, you stole. Your matrimony, you stole. Your friend's house, you stole. Even the church, church, you came to the altar and stole Bible. Word of God, word of God, you stole it. Word of God, you stole it. 
<laughs> you stole the word of God. And you are reading the stolen word. <laughs> I, 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 wish, I wish I'm talking to somebody here. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. I wish I'm talking to somebody right now. Only those living in sin cast stones. Number three. When Jesus was done with her, she came condemned. She left comforted. God leaves you better than he met you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. God leaves you. You see this man of God? Tell them to tell you their story. Tell them to tell you where they're coming from. Tell them to tell you their family background. When God met with them, he leaves you better than he met you. Ask Esther. Picked up as an orphan. A total nobody. Someone of no pedigree. But when God was through with her, she became a queen in a strange land. God leaves you better than he met you. He picked David, a frustrated shepherd boy, but made him an internal excellency. God leaves you better than he met you. He picked Moses, a murderer, and turned him to a deliverer. He picked Nehemiah, a bartender, and made him a man with a voice. God leaves you better than he met you. He leaves you better. I'm here today for that young man and that young lady who wants to make themselves available. I know you are not capable. All he wants is for you to be available. You say, Apostle, I'm not able. He say, you understand? He wants you to make yourself available. God leaves you better. She was brought there condemned, but she left comforted. Every conspiracy against you, whether it's in your place of work, whether it's in the place of your building, where any project you have, where there is a gang up around it. Yes, Anyone in this place, whether it's your financial life, it doesn't matter. Your marital life, yes, it doesn't matter. You are bidding for a contract and there's any form of conspiracy. It expires today. It's subdued today. It is subdued today. It's subdued today. If your amen is louder, send the blessing. I want to pray. I want to pray. God leaves you better than he met you. Jesus asked the woman, he said, has anyone condemned thee? Of course, sir. They did. Am I correct? They did. But he wanted to see her state of mind. Has anyone condemned thee? He said, no man, Lord. He said, okay, neither do I. Since you are ready to forgive them, I also forgive you. Since you are ready to let go of what they did, I also let go of what you did. You can't be better when you are bitter. Since you are, he needed to check if she had unforgiveness. He said, Are they condemning? She looked around. No man. He said, Neither do I. It is your forgiveness that releases God's forgiveness on you. It is your forgiveness. Please, there are things you must let go and let God. Let go. I had a pastor in our hometown, a respected man. I loved him so much. The guy came, shattered me. The only thing he didn't do was to call my name. But they said, when you preach a man, they know you are talking about him. Shattered me. All those people that are just spending money anyhow. All those people that are spending money. He blood money. He blood money. He blood money. All those people that will come and stand on the altar and they are calling people's name. Don't you know your name? Don't you know your name? We've had all kinds of things. Listen, listen. Leave people to manifest their office. That there's so many counterfeit around doesn't mean you deny the original. Leave people. Leave this thing. Leave it. There are things I don't believe in, but I don't condemn. I sit down and just watch people do what they are doing. There are things I don't agree with, but it will never come out of my mouth because tomorrow I may be in that dimension. God is too big to be totally understood by one man. God is too big to be totally understood by one man. I wish I'm talking to somebody yes, here. Sir. God is too it's colossal, too massive to be totally understood by one person. So when people operate in dimension, leave them. We can only guide them. We can only lovingly guide them. We see error, we call you, say we love you, but this is not right. Because we are losing so many people because of this condemnation, castigation. So there are some people who are led to themselves. Oh, really? You throw me out, I go into the way of the world. You bring them. 
I wish I'm talking to somebody here. This guy called me down. I was not informed. I was not interested. He was, people were boiling. He said, what, what, what is the problem? One day I was praying. Now, I wasn't interested, but I was upset. Preach the Bible. Leave me alone. Preach the Bible. Leave me alone. I had enough to reply him. So I had more than enough. Because I knew him inside out. But that is where trust comes. If I will use what I know or I ignore what I know and keep it within me, he said all kinds of things. One day I was just worshipping the Lord. We are breaking into Europe. So I was speaking to the Lord about it. I drew out the nations of them. We are going to Europe, Lord. I was speaking. He said, take a seat. I said, okay. He said, drive the south. It was that man. I said, eh? I said, Father, I've never hesitated, but I would. I will ask for his account details. I will send a transfer. Even that is a lot for me. He said, no, go there. Who? I called some of my young men. We entered the car, going in the convoy. As we were at I was in front. Because I know if I allowed them to be. So I was driving. What we are cornering to us is the escort car came and blocked me. Papa, where you they go? I said, I'm going to see so and so. He said, You are not going there. I said, The Lord says, I let the seed be upon us. This man, tomorrow we say you came to beg him. He talks too much. I said, Let him say anything, but I'm obeying God. I don't know how he got the information that I was coming. While I was arguing with my people, I saw the DP of police. He came. He said, The man called him that I'm on, I'm on the way to kill him. <laughs> So the DPO case, Apostle, what's going on? This man just coming that you out. I said, how did he know we are here? Who told him so soon and used? How did you get here so soon? He said, the man said, you want to kill him? Please now. We know the better. I said, follow me and see if I will kill him. So I got there. The man and his wife they were standing. You can't do anything to us. You can't do anything to us. You can't do anything to us. God called us. God called us. We must speak the truth. We must speak the truth. We must speak the truth. It's the truth we spoke. Oh, you came with armed men. So I got there. I opened the bag, pulled it out, and dropped it. I said, The Holy Spirit, I should give you this. Thank you. I turned. The man said, Apostle. I turned. It let down. He said, pray for me. He said, you are a Christian. He said, this exact figure is what I'm owing the bank. He started crying. He started crying. I wasn't prepared. I was still angry. Oh, you want me to lie to you? <laughs> I was still angry. I was just looking at his yeah, using to say all those things. I was looking at the construct of his man. See, this kind of man now, now fivefold ministry. Now go just give fivefold ministry. <laughs> when he knelt down, I knelt down with him. I said, Father, but <laughs> he was crying. I was crying. He was crying. I was crying. But the next Sunday, he was in our church. He sat down. I said, you don't have to sit here. You know you have been against me because of the camera. May they put her for my face. May they put her for my face. We don't do fight. We know they fight again. May they put her. Let's come together. Let's come together. Only him they preach by himself. I said something this morning. Forgiveness doesn't make the forgiving powerful. It makes the forgiver free. As no man condemn thee, was checking. Is she holding anything against them? She looked around. He said, no man. He said, neither do I. Because you forgive them, my forgiveness is released to you. Neither do I. Go. And sin. God leaves you better than they met you. I don't care your current condition. They say you are sleeping in the church. Where is the evidence? I don't care. God leaves you better than they met you. Ask great men what they pass through in their walk with God child of God. He says there is hope for a tree. Though it be cut down. He said at the scent of water it shall sprout. 
Am I, am I talking to somebody here? God lifts you. We are going to ask for the fire of prayer. I can't stand prayerless believers. Prayer. Prayer. Forget anything you see me do. Prayer is my secret. Those around me can tell you. Forget it. Prayer is my secret. We're having breakfast with some great men of the full gospel somewhere in one country. So they said we should pray together. I took off. They saw me took off my suit. I went behind. When I was praying, every year was silent. I was done after two hours. I, I turned. All of them were looking at me. When I faced the apostle, what's happening? Is there a problem? I said, what? The whole place is shaking. Is there a problem? We just a small prayer. <laughs> Pastor Benny, he was sharing the testimony. He went to South Korea. And um, Yogi Cho's wife said, let's, let's have, let's have um, something at home to eat. And they went home. Young Cho's wife brought food for Benny Him. And Benny Him made a mistake. He told Young Cho to pray. Young Cho blessed the food for eight hours. The guy was gone. Eight hours! <laughs> Pastor Benny said he slept on the dining. He woke up, he slept. The man sounded still like that. He was gone. Those are people that they don't visit the presence. They stay there. Before whom I stand, not whom I visit. Before whom they stay, it became a lifestyle. We, we see minimal manifestation because we have lecturers behind the pulpit that sets us. God man that can buy my mind of manipulation. Why do you manipulate and can be real? What can be real that you can buy into the mind of God by prayer? It's time for us to cry to God. The more I pray, the more I want to pray. Let the mantle of prayer fall upon me. Let the mantle as diesel and gas is to mobility, so prayer is to the believer. Let the mantle of prayer, Father, let the mantle of prayer. I'm going into your presence to abandon myself there. The more I pray, the more I want to pray. Make me a man of the mountain so I can subdue conspiracy. I can buy into the mind of God. I can see as God sees. Make me a man of the mountain. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. Sir, you hear a man of God like God's servant, Dr. Talina, preaching with mysteries. Sir, is from the womb of prayer. Those depth of revelations don't come by just memorizing scriptures. No! When you have prayed up, you see scriptures in another light. In another light. Let the mantle of prayer make me a man of the mountain. The mantle of prayer fall on me. The mantle of intercession fall on me. Fall on me. Are you ready? Fall on me. Yes. Listen to this. Noah, hear this and then we pray. God spoke to Noah. He said, I will send rain upon the earth. The rain was coming. And Noah sent forth a dove. To go check if the water had switched. It returned. He sent another. He came with old leaves with his mouth. He sent a third. It never returned. It was suspended. But when Jesus was being baptized, that which was suspended years ago, descended upon him, rested upon his head. Prayer drew it. He said, Jesus, being baptized, I'm praying. Heaven opened. So heaven didn't open because he was the son of God. Heaven opened because he prayed. Are you ready? This is it. The mantle of prayer. Who is Teresa? If your name is Teresa, come here. Teresa, come here. Teresa, if that's your name, come here. Teresa, I want us to pray. Who is ready to pray? 